Hello dolphins, hello sea turtles, I hope you're all okay. First of all, I would like to say well done to those of you who have been going on Times Table Rockstars and participating in the battles that we have been setting up for you. You are all working really hard and the more that you practice your Times Tables, the better you will be and the more confident you will be. So, I have an activity today that I'm going to share with you. The activity is linked to multiplication and you don't need many things to do this activity. So first of all, I have got two different coloured bits of paper and you'll see what those are for in just a moment. You will need some felt tip pens and I've used lined paper, but you might decide to use blank paper. It doesn't matter which, as long as you've got some paper to use as well. Now you'll see that I've already drawn my grid. I decided to use lined paper because then my horizontal lines are already drawn for me and I only needed to use a ruler to draw my vertical lines, but you could use plain paper if you wanted to. I have drawn my multiplication symbol so that it's really clear what numbers I'm multiplying together when I come to do the activity. And you'll notice that I have got two lots of paper. Now this colour is showing me the multiplications that I am going to be practising, okay? So the two, five and ten times table are the times tables that you would have been learning and practising while you were in year two. The three, four and eight times table are the times table that you would have been learning and practising during your time in year three. Now if you're somebody who's still a little bit wobbly on their two, five and ten times table, then just use these for the activity. If you are somebody who feels confident on those times tables that you did in year two, then I would advise you to use all of these cards for this activity. Okay, now let's have a look at the other set of cards that I have made. This set has all the numbers from one up to 12. And the reason for that is because when we are learning our times tables, we learn all the way from one times the times table that we are learning, all the way up to 12 times the times table that we are learning. So I'm going to be using all these cards for this activity. Okay, so I have now mixed these cards up in this pile so that I don't know which number I will get. And I have also mixed these cards up. So I'm going to do my first calculation. Three times two. Another way to say that is three multiplied by two. You know that if you're timesing by two, you're doubling, so three doubled. And the way that I'm going to set this out on my grid is by doing one, two, three along. And I know that I'm multiplying by two, so I'm going to go down two, one, two. Again, I'm going to go along three, one, two, three, and then I need to join my shape up, one, two. So if I wasn't sure what three times two was, one way to work this out now would be to count the squares or the rectangles inside my grid. So I'm going to do that, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would help me to work out that three multiplied by two equals six. And then to make sure that I can remember that, I'm going to then write that in my grid. So three multiplied by two equals six. Okay, let's do another one. So I'm going to put this one at the bottom of this pile and this one at the bottom of this pile. My next calculation is four times four, or four multiplied by four, or four lots of four. So I'm going to choose somewhere on the grid to draw that calculation out. I'm going to choose here. One, two, three, four multiplied by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four. And again, if you're not sure what four times four is equal to, then you can count the boxes inside the shape you have drawn. Four times four equals 16. So I'm going to make sure I write that as well. Okay, let's do one more. Remember to always put your card at the bottom. So now I'm going to be doing five times five. Five lots of five, five multiples of five. One, two, three, four. Five along. Now I need to go down or up. So I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four, five. And along. One, two, three, four, five. And join it up. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I wasn't sure what five times five was, can you remember what trick you could use to work it out? Just have a moment to think about that. Yes, I could count the squares. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I know that five times five equals 25. As you can see, I've continued to select different cards in order to create different multiplication calculations. Once I have drawn my calculation on my grid, if I didn't know the answer or was unsure about the answer, then I can check it by counting the individual rectangles inside that shape and then that would give me the answer but then I must remember to write the answer at the end of my calculation. Right so that was the activity that I wanted to share with you. If it's something that you would like to try and then you would like to share it with either myself, Mrs Conroy or Mrs Fitch then you have our email addresses and you can email us a photo. So stay safe guys and I will see you soon hopefully. Bye!